Hey everybody, Mark Agnesi here again in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back to a brand spanking new week of Guitar <laughs> of the Day. Woo! Oh boy. Well, wow, crazy day today. Uh, Norm was very generously whisked away by Joe Bonamassa to go on the Keeping the Blues Alive Joe Bonamassa Blues Cruise, which uh, left port, I believe, yesterday uh, out of Miami. So Norm's out all week. The inmates are running the asylum. That's <laughs> <sighs> when it gets fun. Good deals are going down right now, if you know what I mean. Come on in. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, it's going to be a crazy week. But I got some major, major guitars to show you guys this week. Some stuff that I think that you're really going to enjoy. Um, that being said, the Telecaster drought is, is continues, man. Week two. Uh, or, or is it week three? I don't know. I think it's three. Shit. Well, two. I don't know. I think actually. it's two. Yeah, it's two. Know. Yeah, the, the Telecaster drought is still uh, still going, but uh, so no Tele Tuesday this week. But I figured when we don't have a Tele, we usually do a Junior. <laughs> How about hashtag TV Tuesday? Ooh. Does that work? Yeah. Starts with a T. Whatever, you'll like it. Come on back. It's from 1957. This is an original Gibson Les Paul TV model. Original limed mahogany finish. Single dog ear P90. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My favorite color. Another yellow one, boo. Yeah, I know. Mark, that's a Les Paul Jr. Why didn't you say Les Paul Jr.? Because yeah, this one's technically not a Les Paul Jr. These aren't called juniors. These are called TV models. Look, dude, I don't make it up, all right? You can argue through the computer screen. I'm not going to hear you. <laughs> Do you see it say Les Paul Jr. anywhere on there? No. It says Les Paul TV model. It does. No. You can I barely just, see it. I'm though. just telling you. Um, so yeah, basically it is a Les Paul Jr. Uh, in this limed mahogany finish. Now we did that TV special last week, uh, which was the kind of big brother version of this. The two inset P90 pickups. Really the exact same pickup. It's just a different casing. Um, but the uh, juniors go with the dog ear casing. Um, unbound neck on these, um, the specials were bound. Still has the dot inlay uh, on it. Still just, you know, slab of mahogany. There are some, a lot of the early TVs are actually maple bodies. Uh, I think once you get into 56 though is when they switch to the mahogany. Um, this, so this being a 57 uh, would be this big slab mahogany body as well. Uh, nice big neck, but not huge. You know, it's got, heft to it 111 16 at the nut mm -hmm. i mean clean guitar we've talked about the tv model before um so back in the mid 50s when this guitar was out you know it's the era of black and white uh television sets um and a lot of times the guitar colors really mattered because they would kind of get lost or bleached out in the black and white format um this kind of yellowish color or what they call limed mahogany um really stood out better on black and white television, which is why it's called the TV model. Um, they figure, you know, once people start to do some performances, this is, you know, the television era now, the the late night television show has begun, you know, uh, guys are playing guitars on TV and they had to look good. So the TV model, you know, you figure the Telecasters were already that kind of butterscotchy blonde color, probably for that exact same reason. Uh, and which why uh, is also why they work so well on TV. So I think Gibson kind of almost took a nod from Leo's book. That kind of mid-century blonde butterscotch color worked pretty well on TV. But yeah, they're far more desirable, far rarer than the Sunburst counterparts. Again, we're talking about kind of a student-level guitar here. So they did crank these out, especially the Sunburst ones. The TV ones are far rarer, uh, far harder to come by, and you're going to pay a little bit of premium for the color. Now this one's got one modification done to it. Um, these are repro tuners on here. Repro? Yeah, reproduction. Come on. Short. Repro. <laughs> Repops. You know. So repro tuners. Why is that okay with me? Because it doesn't modify the guitar at all. You know, they make these off of a mold of the original so all the screw holes line up. You're not modifying the guitar at all. You're taking one part off and putting one part back on. Um, and as you'll see here, why did they do that? There's your original tuners. As you'll see, some stuff missing. <laughs> this is what happens over time. That material, that plastic starts to get brown, starts to get brittle, kind of crystallizes, and one day they just turn literally to dust in your hands. That's what was happening to these. So uh, 
they're still the original tuners. You could pop some new buttons on them and put them back on the guitar. Previous owner decided to just keep them in the case, throw some repros on it. Man, there's far worse things you can do to a guitar than that. Put those tuners back on with new buttons, you got all original guitar again. Uh, except for the case, that is like a 70s era hard case. Uh, those croc cases, man, you look at those wrong. If I look at one of those, if I give one of those the stink eye, they just disintegrate right in front of you. They don't stand the test of time, kid. So it's got a 70s era hard case. Oh yeah, it's the beginning of the week, Norm's out. Got the place to ourselves. Ooh. <laughs> uh, let's go to the couch. Let's tune this son of a bitch open G. Let's get the week started. I'm really excited. This is my excited face. <laughs> All right, we're out front. We have the 1957 Gibson Les Paul TV model. Original limed mahogany finish. Single dog ear P90 pickup. These things usually pair nicely with kind of a small student level amp as well. Uh, we're gonna be exploring again today the uh, new Fender uh, Pro Junior 4, the little lacquered tweed jobby. Uh, we're just gonna keep the tone knob right at noon. We'll play with the volume. There's no reverb, sorry. Not even a little bit. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna start with the volume on like uh, four and we'll kind of go through some different gain stages. Uh, let's hear this thing on four. capo uh, let's turn the volume on the amp let's turn the volume on the amp up to about seven remember these go to 12 so we're a little over halfway right now and we're gonna roll the volume back on the guitar a little bit kind of see how the p90 cleans up a little bit Let's just jack this thing wide open. Let's put it up on like 10 and a half of 12. Yeah, it's pushing a lot of air. Let's see this thing in the higher gain mode here.
TVs. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. From 1957. Gibson, Les Paul TV model. TV yellow finish, single dog ear, P90, unbound rosewood fingerboard. Dude. Seriously, bro? Yeah, seriously. There's your Telly Tuesday. It wasn't the Telly, but screw it. It was blonde. It's kind of part of the thing, right? Uh, follow me on Instagram, at Mark Agnesi. Follow the store at Norman's Rare Guitars. Check this and the rest of these guitars out online while well, they last at normansrareguitars.com. And make sure you come back tomorrow. The return of Weird Ass Wednesday. You guys have been Ooh. asking for it. I finally got one that I've been really wanting to do for a while. Weird Ass Wednesday tomorrow on Guitar of the Day. Come back and see us again. Until then, have a great night. We'll see you. Peace. Bye.